Jumbo, fellow adventurers, Mike Dooley broadcasting another spiritual tune-up. And this week, we're diving deep into my brand new paperback release, A Beginner's Guide to the Universe. A book I wrote for my daughter uh, when she was three for when she's an adult. This is adult life lessons. Don't take that the wrong way. Um, that anybody can use under any circumstances. It's broken up into six chapters plus a prologue and an epilogue. Eight love letters kick these off to my daughter that anybody can relate to, whether you're a parent or not, with life lessons themselves. And then following the kickoff of each chapter, there is a dive into lots of different quotes. And I tell you, I read these things, I can't believe I wrote them. I know that must sound very uh, conceited, but man, I am my number one fan. Uh, Get a load of this. Today, I'm reading from the chapter, Learning from All That Hurts. Learning from All That Hurts. Check these out, man. Always, the thing that didn't work out for your very best really did. You didn't choose this lifetime thinking it would be without challenges. You chose it in large part for the challenges you'd likely have. Meaning the challenges you have now, which seem um, stray and haphazard and they just kind of showed up and that jerk is doing such and such. It was your divine, brilliant, genius orchestration that would put you and your vulnerable heart on that path so that you could toughen it up, see the truth, live like you've never lived before. It's a gift. Everything's a gift. You chose this lifetime in part for the challenges you now face, for the lions and tigers and bears you now face. Okay, a little bit of ad living there. I know it's not easy to, to handle that. Um, I've got my own lions and tigers and bears. Sometimes they get out of their cage and it's just like, Drill down to truth and take your game up another level. Uh, When something troubling, difficult, or painful happens, look to see what it makes possible that wouldn't have otherwise been possible. And you'll find at least part of its reason for happening. So often people will say, you know, like, why did I break my leg? Why did I get cancer? Why did I lose my job? Why did I suffer at the hands of some lunatic partner? Um, and, And while you may never be able to discern the meaning, if you look with a microscope at what happened, you know, you said something, they woke up on the wrong side of the bed, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you could scrutinize that forever. Go big picture. What did this occurrence elicit from you? Did it call you higher? Did it make you ask bigger questions? Did it make you find your strength, discover your power, be able to help other people in ways you could not have helped them before? Therein lies the reason for our lions and tigers and bears, not for the pain, not for the suffering. That sucks. We know we knew that would suck. It still will always suck in that moment. But you got to extract yourself and see the bigger picture. There is a bigger picture. It lasts forever and ever. The path to enlightenment must include accepting full responsibility for your happiness. You knew that. And accepting full responsibility for your own unhappiness. Ooh, ooh, but that's his fault. It's one kind of victory. Check this out, man. It's one kind of victory to slay a beast, move a mountain, and cross a chasm. It's another kind altogether to realize that the beast, the mountain, and the chasm were of your own design. If not for your challenges, problems, and issues, how else would you know that there are still a few things you misunderstand? That's what I'm talking about. Now you know. Now you can understand. And those issues will go away. 
Every no means not yet. Every setback means there's something better. And every loss means even more is on the way. Every disappointment, pucker up, buttercup. We are celebrating the release this week of the paperback edition of A Beginner's Guide to the Universe. I'm doing a reading from chapter three, I believe. The chapter is titled, Learning from All That Hurts, and I'm not stopping yet. It's not just when one door closes, another door opens. When one door closes, choirs burst into chorus. Orchestras orchestrate, bugles bugle, pigs fly, and 10,000 new doors open. Oh, it's no one's responsibility to tell you what your issues are. And contrary to popular thinking, most will not. Which pretty much means there's, there'll only be one person you can trust in such matters. Where you are is never who you are. Woo! Where you are is not who you are. You're infinitely more. You're not some step on a path. You're not even the entire path. You're more. You're eternal. You're of God, by God, pure God. You are more than where you are. Where you are may suck. That doesn't mean you do. Okay? It's just temporary. You are eternal. You're not alive to face hurdle after hurdle. It's not as if, should you master your issues today, more will be added tomorrow. While there will always be more to learn, as you become wiser, you'll find you have fewer challenges, which are quite manageable, feeling more like opportunities than burdens. I know that there's that school of thought, you know, that life is a school, that we're all here to learn lessons, you know, and then if we pass the lessons that we go and live in heaven, something kind of like that. As if life in the jungles of time and space was supposed to be arduous and difficult and a burden in and of itself. And if you pass those bloody tests, then all things will be added onto you once you die. What a, what a crazy, broken way to view reality. Life is heaven on earth, right here and now. Life is beautiful, you are powerful. That which you don't like, you can change. But when you're starting out on your learning curve, your own private evolution of consciousness, you know, like a little baby learning to crawl and then walk, you fall down again and again and again. But it gets easier. I, when's the last time you fell down? Can you even remember? Uh, and, and it's the same with our inner challenges. It's not like the assumption is, in our society, the assumption is, as soon as you master one problem, another problem shows up. Master that one, another problem. That's not true. You will always be learning, which is what this little insight said. But the lessons become fewer and fewer easier and easier. You have more and more fun. And finally, when a lesson shows up, you're like, oh, it's about time. I'm going to go even higher. It's an opportunity. I kid you not. The only real problem you'll ever have is thinking you have a problem because you just don't. Where did these where did these jewels come from? I'm sorry if I'm playing myself up a little bit too much, but where did these jewels come from? These were all once notes from the universe. Over 3,000 I've written. I went and picked my favorite 500, and then I rewrote every single one of them so that they would be more universal. I took out the cutesy cutesy jambo and universe and tally-ho, and I just made it a life lesson. And I couldn't be happier with the way they turned out, of course. Um, well, that's where they came from, okay? Oh, 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 what I wanted to tell you is that each note from the universe of the 3,000 I've written took hours. So each little one of these things I've written took hours. 
and sometimes many hours and sometimes into the next day. So, you know, I channeled it, but I did a little, a lot of left brain criticism, delete, copy, paste, curse, celebrate. Here we go. A few more, a few more. When you prepare for adversity, you build not a bridge to retreat by, but one for adversity to advance upon. A beginner's guide to the universe. Once you realize that everything difficult you go through, every scuffed knee, lost deal, or broken heart will eventually play wildly in your favor, you'll find it hard to complain about anything. It's like there's just only good news in these sacred jungles of time and space. Every challenge is an invitation to a happier place than you even knew existed. Setbacks, delays, and disappointments are like steps in the mambo, tango, and cha-cha. If you studied the movements without knowing the dance, nothing would make sense. But when you see the big picture, poetry in motion. So if you studied a step, it'd be like, what's wrong with that person? But if you see the whole thing, same thing with your life and your challenges, your highs and your lows, you know, sometimes it'd be like, oh man, that's just miserable existence. But when you see the whole thing and where it's taking you, including while you're alive, oh my gosh, that's why we chose to be here. If ever in your life, suddenly and without warning, an event, person, or unexpected good news changes everything for the better. Okay, let me reread that. If, now this is written to my daughter, so this is a little tense challenge. If ever in your life, suddenly without warning, an event, person, or unexpected good news changes everything for the better, it will mean chances are astronomically high that it will happen again and again and again. Words like blame, victim, or fault should never be used in enlightened conversations. Instead, try creator, adventurer, or heroine. Okay, just a couple more here. Wondering how else you could view life when you're experiencing emotional or physical pain is a sign of spiritual maturity. Wondering how else you could view life when things are already growing really well is the sign of a spiritual rock star. All right, last one. If you aren't constantly pushing yourself to grow, it'll mean you're missing something. And that thing you're missing will eventually cause you to fall, leading you to push yourself as you get back up, repeating itself until you understand what you are missing. All of which can be avoided when, even though you think you aren't missing anything at all, you continually push yourself, which means stretch, reach, grow, approach and exceed your comfort zone. Okay, one more. I lied. You're not meant to bear that which you find unpleasant. You're meant to change it. Thanks, fellow adventurers, for tuning in to another installment of A Beginner's Guide to the Universe. My new paperback, it released yesterday. We're still doing the offers. Free workshop next week, The Dawn of Enlightenment, Old Soul Living for 2020. Um, and uh, a book immersion is another bonus point. Free audiobook prologue for anyone. Just click the link below in the Facebook, uh, under my Facebook video right now, or swipe up at Instagram and go through to the bio and you'll land on that page. It'll tell you how to be a wiener. Okay, everybody, thank you. Sharon Marsh on Facebook. Maureen, Jackie, Chelsea, Barrett, Piava. Glad you're all here. Thank you, thank you so much. On Instagram, Davina, pretty name, Peters, uh, Debbie, Marcelo, Autism Fit Mom, glad you're back. Boom with a sizzle. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thanks for the engagement. Thank you for sharing these videos with friends. Uh, thanks for the stars on Facebook, the hearts, 
the hugs. Lots of love from my heart to yours. Have an amazing Wednesday. Tally ho, amigo.